Alrighty, folks. This episode we got at Marshall, so we're going to be in Jones C. Edwards Stadium. I'm hoping that we can smack the shit out of them because they really kind of drove us into the turf last time we played them. And taking a look at their like stats, Isaiah Green here, 61 for 93, 827 yards, 8 touchdowns, 0 interceptions. So he is just killing it this season, 84 overall. And Marshall this season, looking at their stats here, their offense is really good. 10th in yards, 6 in passing. And their defense ain't too shabby either. I don't know how they got this good, but I guess we'll have to see. Space. These two teams have contrasting philosophy. One team loves time of possession. The other team could care less about it. Who establishes the tempo it wants could go a long way toward determining who wins. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Herker. We're here at Jones C. Edwards Stadium in Huntington, West Virginia. And now let's head down to the coin toss. Yeah, and one thing about Jones C. Edwards Stadium and NCAA 14, they did such a good job with building these stadiums and the atmosphere. Like for this old ass game, it looks amazing. We scrambling, come on, we gotta go after this guy. 18 yards. We had him locked up pretty well, he scrambled out and just shit all over us. And he gets it out quick to Gaines. Seven yards. I sent a blitz so they they had a little uh, outlet on the outside. Come on Chip. Oh. And Chip can't make the tackle. They're going to get a first down off of that one. And they're another one of these hurry up teams that are just so irritating to play. I kind of just want to hurt one of their players. Ooh, he got me. The running back got me. Come on, get over there. Norris Bradford, only a gain of seven, or a gain of three, second and seven. They're kind of just dinking and dunking. They're not really testing us deep, which is interesting. Oh, and he gets out. We didn't have his buy. We're going to have to hope we can get a fumble off of him. Mm, they have both the slants there. Willie Johnson is going to take it in for a 19-yard touchdown. That's so hard to stop when they run both those dual slants. And after that first drive, our defense just... Oh, another shit performance to start the game. Oh! And I did not have any time in the pocket. We have just... Played like shit today. The offensive line didn't give me any time. I may have held on to it too long, but I had a guy open. Just not enough freaking time. Ooh. Harvey makes a beautiful throw to Robert Crenshaw. He had tight coverage on him. I thought it was going to be picked, but John Harvey is just so damn accurate. that he Look at that. Number 34 was right on him. He could have jumped right in front of that on some Madden cheese. And 44 don't get enough speed. I'm going to take this one out. Big run there. 18 yards by Harvey. Necessarily want to run too much. See? Oh my god. I just got lit up. Jake. Oh my god. It's surprised he doesn't have a concussion after that one. Holy shit. What a hit. Oh, and Maurice Gold. Terrainy game out here, and he gets lit up and drops that one. Can't really get too angry with him. Oh my goodness. Okay, Justin Marl, I see you. What a play by that corner. I've, I've taken on better corners than that, and he just broke on that one. But I don't want anything. I'm going for it. This. And Kenneth Bray gets him. They are not going to stop Kenneth Bray on that curl route. That's his favorite route. And they bid on it. I don't have a ton of room, but Harvey's going to go for six yards. And they blitzed from that left side. Look at all this room. What do you even think you're doing, son? No, I'm going to run your ass over. Oh, my God. Jalen McLean sap. John Harvey's 180-pound frame. 
like six foot, 180 pounds, just ran that man over. What a play. I gotta see this replay. Just puts his head down that corner, just got, oh my god, he might be dead. Oh. Terrible coverage right there. But that's what happens when you run a zone. And throws that quick out route to Scarsale there. Actually, I should probably guard that guy. Yep, they're one on the screen. Oh my god, so much, so much room. I just wasn't quick enough to get over there. Get over to the flat. Ooh, Keaton just screwed up Chip Hines. Oh man, that slam, man. Green is 9 for 9. This Heisman cheese today is unstoppable. And Jake makes a nice move, gets 8 yards. They had a free runner, but Jake made a little shifty move there and got 8 out of it, which is amazing. Oh, I should not have slid there. I think I had some more room, but I just was scared of the fumble. But either way, it's a first down. And Crenshaw gets off of his man, and he's got a big gain, breaks a tackle. 23 yards for Robbie Crenshaw. He had a guy there, but Gilmore was playing bad coverage on it. And beautiful blocking by that O-line on that inside zone play. 12 yards for Larry Huffman. You cannot ask for better blocking on that play. And more good block in there. Jake gets seven. Now he drives to buy some time. Oh my goodness. You get a guy wide open and just screw up my day. Now we gotta get it on third down. And Culliver, our third string running back, gets wide open for nine yards. Good play. He's only in on about one or two formations, but he makes a Great play for the team there. He was wide open immediately, so I said, I'm chucking it to this dude. And Crenshaw makes an incredible catch for 13 yards. They sent the house after me, and he got wide open. And it looks like they're coming out in some kind of 3-4 look. I'm just going to, like, they got nobody in the box. And Jake takes it in. Four yards for the touchdown. Great blocking by the O-line, and that ties this one back up. Oh, and they try to run a screen, but it gets, I think they we knocked it down, or... I don't know, it slipped out of his hands. And they run it, and they get it. What in the hell? And they run another slant route. I'm about to start trying to go for people's ankles. And running that screen, it looks like. Oh, he's going to run out. Come on, Thompson, get him. Oh, our corner can't bring him down. Jesus, another 12 yards. I really do not want to have to put a spy on this dude, but... Oh, oh look at that! Carlos Adkins, I actually made a good user there and got him with that horse collar tackle, but they didn't call it. Look at that. And they run the option. Bradford absolutely destroys him, but he still gets in for the touchdown. We cannot... This defense is just looking like absolute trash today. Can he fit that one in? Come on, Crenshaw. No, why does the safety make a break on the ball, but our receiver just does keeps running, doesn't even look for the ball. Good blocking, hold up. And Jake gets 11 yards. The offensive line kind of being reshuffled at the beginning of the year is just killing it so far. Oh, I should not have thrown that. Oh my god, Kenneth Bray. I thought number eight was going with that tight end. I almost screwed that one up terribly. But Bray just bails me out on that one. How did he not pick that off? And good blocking. I'm going to go ahead and slide if I can. No, Parvey just wants to power forward and run into these linebackers, apparently. Got a death wish. He's going to try and scramble. Got the corner. 
Throwing into me. Thank you, Alvarez. Good play by Harvey to scrimp. Oh, no, that was Chance Fitzpatrick. I did not know he had that much speed. See, we got a good front here. If this offensive line can just hold on to a block. Thank you. Jake is going to plow forward 10 yards. And Jake's going to get it on a Texas route 7 yards. Good play. The ball at half, so I kind of just wanted to run this clock out because our defense has played horrifically. I do not want to give them any time. And Jake with a nice cut there. Bounces off of Jason and gets that first down. And Wayne gets in there for the touchdown. Beautiful execution on that play. That wide receiver on the outside had the post, and Adam Wayne cuts right underneath it with that um, out route there. What a play. What a throw. Ooh, Chip Hines almost had that one going for a pick six. Nice deflection there, son. Nice tackle. Get him. Oh, my God. We stopped him. Who was that? 54. Just blew that blocker up and brought him down. Beautiful play. Get there, Alvarez. Get there. Nice play. Seven seconds left. I wish he could have kept running because I think I could have got in. And Stephen Hills gets down. I'm going to go ahead and call a timeout and see if we can get a field goal before the half. Didn't get full power on it. And he nails it. Beautiful play. We're going to get the ball back at half after the halftime. That really helps our chances. Our score here at Jones C. Edwards Stadium is the Mavericks 24, the Thundering Herd 21. Good blocking. Nice block out there by the receiver. And Jake gets us a first down. I think that was Crenshaw out there on that key block, or maybe Alvarez, I'm not sure. And Harvey goes for that 11 yards. My receiver missed that block, just left me out to dry, but I cut that one right in and made the most out of it. Great play. And who was that? Crenshaw. Oh my God, he does not get in and he gets hurt. But John Harvey, that safety had two guys he could go after. He went after Alvarez and Crenshaw. Yep, see Drayton went over there with Alvarez. And Crenshaw, that, that is an NFL-type throw there by John Harvey. Wow. And again, they're going to come out with that three-man front. So we're just going to run it in. And Jake walks in. Just didn't even, just without a care in the world, just, just prances into the end zone. And that gives us a two-possession lead which with our defense is what we desperately need. And again, we get there. Who was that? Antonio Daniel, the safety. Only a gain of one. Get the hell out of here, Tyler King. And get there. Come on, make that tackle. No way in hell. He just breaks off of that, and Doty has to drag him down from the defensive tackle spot. One of our linebackers just got absolutely emasculated. What in the hell was that? Oh, they just found that hole in the zone. Scarsely. Bradford, I think, got the tackle there. There's nothing else we can freaking do to stop him. Get there, Ferris. Man, I'm trying to time this blitz right, but he keeps running this freaking motion bullshit. Let me get through here. And he's got nothing but green grass in front of him. Damn it to hell. Somebody take this guy's kneecaps out. Somebody has on this defense has got to make a freaking tackle. We blitz and just nobody can get off of their blocks. Harvey, nine yards. This man does not fumble. I love it. Jake has got a ton of room. Gets nine yards out of it. Beautiful dot. And Alvarez gets it 14 yards. Alvarez hasn't been too involved today. Actually, I am an idiot. He has two catches, 55 yards. Oh my goodness. Jake. 
gets a huge lane there. They sent a lot of guys, but they couldn't get around the edge. 78 there, key block. He's gonna try and scramble. Oh my goodness, that improvisation there. The last second throws it to Kenneth Bray, and Bray has the wherewithal to bring that one in. Right at the edge there. What a freaking play. That's the X factor that Harvey brings to this team. Just incredible. Hit him. Oh my god. Adam Wayne gets in the end zone again. I was scared to death on that throw. I cannot believe he made that. That was a great throw by Chance Fitzpatrick. And you love to see it. He started all last year and now he's the backup and he's a sophomore, but he's taking it with grace. And when he does get in the game, he is killing it. And there it is, that slant route again. What a shocker. Do you guys run anything else but slants and outs? Somebody has got... Break his freaking ankles. Don't let him ever walk again. Jesus Christ, defense, come on. Where are we on with these career-ending injuries? Devin Key, I think that was. Number 96. Zero yards there. Yep, tackle for the loss. Good play, son. And he gets pressured. Who was that there? The defensive line really all got that one. And Nick Ferris, the linebacker, comes in to clean that one up. Beautiful play by that front seven. Yep. Ooh. I don't know if Ryan Richer got his foot in. But he undercut that one. You, the corner round is so hard to stop. I cannot believe he did that. Harvey gets absolutely lit up by the safety right in there. But he's got his black sleeves on and he is ready to go. Oh my goodness, who was that, son? Stephen Hills, you have got to make that block. Don't let that nickel corner just come in and absolutely wreck my life. And Jake gets open and gets that first down, six yards. Nice little dump off there by Harvey to keep this drive moving. Good, another play. Wayne gets off. Alvarez makes a key block, and Adam Wayne, our number four receiver here, has three touchdowns today. He is just going off. This guy is only fourth on the depth chart at receiver. But Alvarez, as you saw there, just made a key block. He is just one of the most selfless guys I've ever met. Keith Alvarez... What more can you say? He, he's been our top receiver, but he's just laying it out there for his teammate. What a play. Can work for it. We can't let him score in three seconds. They're going for the screen. Get over there, and he is going to go down. Isaiah Green goes down. Lewis there gets the sack. The screen was not working, and our defensive tackle makes a big play there. Second and 19. Let's go. I got this running back, hopefully. What the heck? He got hit. I don't know who it was, but he went down hard and just tried to throw it away. And they're going for that screen again. Oh, I could not make the user tackle because I suck. Oh my god, somebody please! Okay, fourth and two. North Bradford saves us. That one is my fault because I didn't do that correctly. Come on, string him out. Good play. Our safety. Freshman safety. I Luckily, I ate that block and allowed number 36 to just come in there and crush their dreams. And it looks like we got full control of this game. And Jason with a key block there. Harvey gets his knees destroyed. Nine yards. Thank you for the blocking interior. Great play, guys. Thank you. Now I got to kick a field goal, but I'm not going to. Alvarez, beautiful, he continued on his slant, it's going to be three catches, 80 yards for him so far, after that great block he had last drive, he gets rewarded there, calling for it, I saw him, great blocks, Jake almost gets in, gets 70 yards, that was a great play by the interior of the line and, out, and the exterior, we're going to go ahead, I think, maybe give this one to the fullback, 
I think that's our third string tight end, George Jenkins. Number 93 for a tight end. That is disgusting, but we are putting an absolute beatdown on Marshall today. His first catch, I think, of his career. That's because it's after that first season, it's not something you got to happen all the time. Get him, Atkins. Look at that user I just made, and somehow he still breaks my tackle. Only gets a yard on it, though. They're going really screen happy here at the end of the game. I have no idea why. Ooh, that corner route. Get him, Daniel. Antonio Daniel gets him, but they, that corner route succeeds for him. And they try to go for another screen, but we got too much pressure, and he just throws an intentional grounding without a call. And he's going to scramble out. Oh, my God. That was a vicious hit. But I'm glad I freaking destroyed his life there. Ooh. He goes down for negative five. Who was that? 58. Ryan Christian, the other defensive end. He tried to scramble out again like a punk. And Christian just used like a Jedi mind trick or something. He barely even touched the guy. That was so freaking weird. Nope, I got that covered. Oh, no. What the hell? Well, that was something. Ooh, they ran that little cheese play. That's the biggest cheese play in the game is those stupid outs. And, it's, and the other one's a slant. You can't even stop it. Crenshaw gets it. What if he slips through? Oh, that would have been so cool if I ran in for a touchdown. Ooh, and Mark gets a pick. Good job, son. That'll be good for your morale. You can actually think you've done something. And Petty comes in for his first play of the season, and that was probably just on my stupid user in there. But sometimes that play works, even if you don't got that much separation. But Mara's kind of a bitch, but good play. Ooh, a slant. I've never seen that one before. Chip Hines get there, white chocolate chip. Oh, he doesn't make the tackle, but Bradford does. Wow, I've never... That's so original, a slant route. Like... That is so innovative. Okay, dumb shits. Uh, safety there. Can you please get on the receiver? Oh my god, Norris Bradford just killed Stones Garcely. They ran that cheese play again, but they were not able to capitalize on it. Um, make that tackle, please. Uh, 54 gets him down. Yep, had him on the slant. Oh, a slant? I didn't see that one coming, that whatsoever. Oh my god, and we give up the onside kick. I... I have no words. We just almost... I think we just let them get back into this, because I... We're playing around too much. Oh, he just... What is the... Oh my god, and you're not gonna even make the tackle? Oh, shit. Oh my god, he is freaking dusting me. I really do not want overtime. Get that pick. Oh, there it is, son. Who was that? Thompson? And we got good pressure there. I think that was Jeremy Thompson. No, Kenny Galloway, our number five corner, just sealed that one and pretty much bailed me as the head coach out of this game, or Hilliard, I guess. But now all we got to do is run this clock down. Oh, my God. Jake just breaks off that tackle. They are sending the house now. And Petty slides for that first down and seals the game. Way to come in and redeem yourself, son. 
I could have just put uh, Harvey back in since this game's close, but I decided against it. Beautiful blocking. And Jake will get another first down to seal that one up. And that is going to do it. I almost stupidly let them come back and pro potentially win this game. Petty gets that slide for the first down. Harvey was a so efficient. Four touchdowns, no interceptions. I'm playing such a clean game right now. You just love to see it. Harvey is killing it so far. But that game was much closer than it should have been. And stats on the day, Fitzpatrick was 2 for 2, 13 yards and a touchdown. Harvey was 18 for 23, 334 yards, 3 touchdowns, 0 picks. Very precise game from John Harvey. And Petty had that one interception, which was kind of just me screwing around. Jake was 24 carries, 110 yards, 4.5 average, 2 touchdowns. He was kind of a Gruden grinder today. Just really running out those yards. Harvey had 94 yards and a touchdown. Petty had that first down run for 8 yards, Fitzpatrick had that run for 13 yards, and Huffman had one carry for 11 yards. And Crenshaw, 4 for 125 yards. Jake was 3 catches for 14 yards, Alvarez, 3 for 80. Adam Wayne, the star of the game, I would say, our number 4 receiver, 3 catches, 62 yards, 3 touchdowns. Kenneth Bray was 3 for 34. George Jenkins. Had that one catch for one yard, one touchdown. I think his first catch of the year. Stephen Hills was one catch for 22 yards, and Culliver had one catch for nine yards. And our left tackle, Antonio Hurd, gave up a sack. And we had a bunch of tackles for losses today. Ryan Christian had the sack. Carlos Atkins had a tackle for loss. Antonio Daniel had a tackle for loss. Nick Ferris had a sack. Devin Key, the right end, had a tackle for loss, and Lewis there got a tackle for loss as well, actually a sack. So just great game by the front seven. You know, we gave up a lot of points, but I'd say our front seven had a really solid game. And Kenny Galloway, the senior 55 overall corner, got the game ceiling interception. And Ryan Richard also had an interception as well. And Chip Hines had a pass deflection. And Zach Blunt. Had one field goal for 34 yards. And taking a quick look at recruiting here, Jamal McPherson. This is one of those kind of three-star gems I was looking at. He, We've taken the lead for him over Georgia, Ohio State, so that one's going to be really tough, but he's a really beast defensive end. The punter, he's going to be here any day now. Kicker, same. He's going to be here any day. Conley, we're still in the fight. A lot of these guys were still just kind of duking it out with some of these bigger teams. Now this wide receiver here, Corey Kaysen, I put a lot of points on, he's got a 95 speed, terrible XL though, but I like how his spectacular catch and catch in traffic are actually pretty decent, but he can't do like a regular catch, it's a 62, it's just really weird this game. This guy is so weird. Like he's a receiver, but he has no acceleration, but he's fast as hell, I don't get it, I don't know where I would put him, but I'm still going after him nonetheless. And we got a point for coordinator Earl Jefferson. I'm going to go ahead and put it on plus one to throw power and throw accuracy just to help the quarterbacks out. And that's going to do it for this episode. Next up, we got UNLV. The Rebels are three and two. Last year, I believe we had like a really close game with them, but they did end up beating us. So hopefully we can just come in here and crush the life out of them this time around. Uh, that'll do it for this episode. Peace out.